One day, bukas, bukas na rin kami bukas. Sabi niyo, doon kami malapit sa Kareport. Oo. Oh? Noon sa ano, alam mo yung Kakamida. Ano ba yun ang ano mo? Odette. Ay si Odette pala, nakalimutan na talaga kita. O akalain na ano. They want good picture video when this light is okay. Build us up. And these were the words that the church in past centuries were holding on to. And the reason why the church is still now thriving so forth in, in his glory is because of these timeless themes of hope, peace, joy, and love. These themes you will not get in this world. You may have some of a bit of it, but it all vanishes. That's what I felt. It all goes off within days or in a few months. Every hope that has been given, it may vanish within a few days or a few months. And every peace that you want to get, every joy that you want to have, and every love, it all vanishes. Maybe a day, maybe a month. And now is a day, it is a season of uh, uh, a great sale that is happening. You know, it's all sale again, son. But then, the hope, the peace, the joy. With us for 2,000 years as his power diminished, he still continues. He still heals, he still saves, he still restores, he still gives life, he gives light, he gives hope, he gives joy, peace, all of that. And it has not diminished one bit. In fact, it's, there seems to be an intensity, it seems to be growing. And Jesus is still that light, but he's only a light to those that are seeking him. We have to seek the light. We have to seek Him. We've got to walk in a position as the shepherds, when they heard the good news, they said, come, let's go see. The wise men from the east, what did they say? They said, come, let's go find out this star, the one that we've been waiting for, the Messiah that has been coming. When we think of Him in the year 2023, we still look at the word. And uh, point one from the passage is the word is God. The word is God. Um, chapter one starts with in the beginning there was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. Now, when you read the book of John, especially when Go to chapter 20, 31. You see the purpose of the book, why he wrote the book. John wrote the book for one main purpose. Talking by speaking about Christ being God. In the beginning 
there was the word. Now, Jesus Christ is the word that John is talking about. Verse 2, he says, he was in the beginning with God. He was in the beginning with God. It's talking about Christ. Idea of how 
uh, God's purpose and plan will play out in my life. And so I, I plan for it. I look for God to work in my life. And there's not necessarily anything wrong with that. But I can tell you the reality of that. <laughs> when you say no to God, things get really, really miserable in life. So it's better to just say yes in the beginning, even if you don't understand it. But in that process, for me anyways, there is always that struggle to sacrifice what I want for what God wants. God, this doesn't fit into my plan. I don't have enough money in the bank account. I, I don't have enough talent to do what you've asked me to do. But yet God <coughs> wants glory. And he wants to work a miracle out of it because he knows you ain't got the talent. He knows you aren't, aren't pretty enough. He knows that. But yet he wants to use us anyways. Praise God. He allows us to come into his purpose and plan and be used of him. Look at verse 7 of chapter 15. Here's our text. And he said to him, I am the Lord who brought you out of Ur of the Chaldees to give you this land that you possess. Now notice God says, I am the one who did it, Abram. You didn't do it. And there's a lesson in here for us. God wants to accomplish, accomplish his will through you, and he wants the glory for it. He doesn't want to share it with you. He wants all the glory. He wants his kingdom to spread. One verse from 
chapter 3 of the same book Philippians forgetting what lies behind when the trouble stops keep on we go to prayer we are praying to the new year Pray Psalm 23 for yourself, for your family, for your business. Amen. Yes.